Welcome to my house, my garage, where things are done a certain way, my way. I'm going to be reviewing this little big green egg light, which means it was like a million dollars because you know how they sell. If, you're, if you've ever purchased anything that's big green egg, you know their things are way more than other manufacturers. So, right off the bat, I, I saw it and it was a little hard to maneuver like it, it takes it takes a little effort to maneuver which which is you know has its pros and cons because it's a pain in the ass to get it to how you want it but once you get it there it'll stay there it's very firm it's not flimsy it's good now I, I the other thing I didn't like is there's no button, there's no button to turn it on and off. It's a twist, it's, you know, it's one of those twisty ones where you twist it, well, it's not turning on. So, oh, there you go. It's done that to me a few times where it won't turn on when I twist it, when I twist it on. I don't like that. So it's, it's see, it's been a little defective. So you twist it on, and then if you can see, let me turn off my light. Okay, so right now my garage is pitch black. So let me put a piece of paper down here. Check it out, it lights it up perfectly. Now let me play a little clip for you guys where I was grilling some steaks on the Kamado Joe. It worked, it worked perfectly. It held firmly. Let me turn my light back on. So the thing that I'm, I'm worried about is it melting and it, it getting all smoky and see how, I want to see how long it lasts. As you can see from this picture, this, this flashlight right here, this is the one I got for my, I, I bought a Weber Genesis E310 for my dad like four years ago. And I bought him this Brookstone grill light. As you can see from these pictures, it's they it melted. The, the covering for the light melted and it got all smoky, which really sucks. Now the light itself still works. And I, I love it. It's a heavy duty light. The only thing is it melted. Right now we're walking outside. We're gonna test this uh, big green egg light again. Like I said, I used it on my Kamado Joe and it it worked perfectly. But my Kamado Joe is a junior, which is way smaller than my large big green egg. So let's uh, test it out right now. As you can see, it's really dark out here. On to show you guys, it's magnetic. It's very dark. I'm pointing the camera at the big green egg. There's no lights on anywhere. Look at that. Now, two would be good. I think two, if you bought two and put one on each side, one here, see it, one there, and one over here, I think it would light up perfectly. This is how it looks with one light. Check it out. This is if you had another one, another one up here on this side. There's one up there. If you had one more on this side, check out how much light you'd have in there. So I think two would be good, but I'm not willing to spend $20 on this. 15 to $20 is way too much. Now, Big Green Egg, good job. It works perfectly for now. Very sturdy, very firm. It's great, heavy duty. We'll see how long it lasts. All right, guys, thank you for stopping by. This was my house where you guys are always welcome. Stop by anytime you'd like. I'll see you next time.